Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello and welcome back to more Stephen Plays Red Dead Redemption 2. I know that at the end of last episode I said that we would be going to see Penelope, but guess what? A new Charlotte mission showed up, and I do so enjoy them. And from reading the comments, it really sounds like you guys do too. Um, there was even one comment that said, you know, if, if Arthur wasn't <laughs> dying, that uh, he and Charlotte could have a, a good life together. Which might be a little forward, but also true. And she seems down to earth and uh, is trying very hard. And certainly they've shown each other some kindness. But this relationship is strictly pl platonic. My, my. I was wondering when I was going to see you again. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean no, it. I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? Uh, I'm still standing, which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. Please, go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Oh, well, that's very kind. Charlotte, it was a pleasure meeting you. You too, Arthur. Please be well. That's very kind. Help yourself to anything in my house? Okay, I don't... I don't really have a desire to just start ransacking Charlotte's house. She's been very kind to, to us. Uh, taking, taking cigarettes to get the cards is of interest, though. And I don't know if there's anything over here that can... Okay, more cigarettes. <laughs> sure. Sure. Um, otherwise, just a few random things. I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's something that could help me. But again, I've got so much stuff. How can I not take the cigarettes? Jesus, were there ten cigarettes in each pack? Throw them away! I only want the- I don't even smoke! Okay, I do occasionally enjoy a cigar. Occasionally I'll have Arthur smoke a cigar because, um, it helps Deadeye pretty immensely. I mean, I understand that this is, like, the reward for doing these missions and helping, but, again, it feels weird, like, taking her stuff. I'm not really interested in, like, getting rich off of this woman. But maybe there's something... I don't know, maybe there's something interesting and unique in here. I'll just look around a little bit. But, again, ransacking is not my, uh... Not my draw here. Now, after this, we are going to go see Penelope. Um, so we are sticking... ...sticking to that objective today. There wasn't even anything in here. It'll let you search all these things. In my opinion, I think that it should just come up and be like, there's nothing here. And just say, it's just save you the trouble. There's some ground coffee. She can keep her coffee. This is, uh, where I woke up, so we can, uh, it'll actually, I guess, let us go see her room. God, I feel so bad for this woman, too. I don't want to take... I don't want to take her jewelry. Wait, what was that? Oh. Cow and Charlotte, about four. 1893, Chicago. That's sad. Is there anything else in here? Again, I don't want to take her jewelry. I was just interested to see if there was anything weird or unique. There's a little hat! Can I have the little hat? I want the little... That's what I want, is the little hat. It would be so odd to, to tell someone, be like, Hey, just go in my house and take whatever you want. 
nothing else, it's just going to be really weird because when she comes back in, all of her drawers are going to be open. And then that just goes to the outside of the house. Alright. I didn't really take anything. Um, but I appreciate it all the same. I don't think we're going to see Charlotte again. But this was nice. There's a few really nice missions here. I was kind of curious if I could take that axe. Alright. Let's go see Penelope. God, it feels weird to be back here. And last time I was here, I got shot at. I don't know if that's going to happen again. I'm closing in on Penelope. But last time I got close to this... Well, it looks like they're going to lead me around. That's probably for the best, because I did get shot at. I'm not in the mood to get shot at right now. There's a part of me that does worry that this is somehow a setup or something, but... But maybe not. Maybe everything's fine. There are still people here that hate me. Alright, Penelope. I know that you're around here. Are you on the porch? Are you inside? Holy crap. Oh, oh you came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her! They killed Miss Calhoun! All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs! Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or... or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters! If God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo. Why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. Go to road station. You mind riding on my horse? I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay, let's try and get you a train. Let's also remove my marker, because that's going to be confusing. And Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can, makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well, if he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watch me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say, our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. I have so much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning? But everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But... Yeah, as far as it goes, get out, don't look back, make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he, Bo? There are worse. He's kind, and he's caring, and he's strong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to laugh. He, he's a lot of things, but... <laughs> something the matter? Why are you stopped? strong like you, but strong enough to stand up to his family, to be different from folk. You don't know how hard that can be, to say something is wrong when everyone around you thinks it's right. No, perhaps I don't. But he is a good man, and he's lucky. You're both lucky to have each other. 
I know the route, and this is not the right one, sir. This could be the best day of my life, or the worst. I can't bear not knowing which. Hold on. It'll be clear soon enough. My horse is way too fast. ASCII is way too fast for this dialogue. He is. Oh, it's him. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? Fine. Man, I really can't believe that we're seeing these characters again. I mean, I'm glad, but I didn't expect it. But there's been a lot of unexpected things, you I guess. Came. <laughs> you came! You came! At last you came! Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men! <laughs> oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. Oh, sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? I'm over oh, here. Some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, off is gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Yeah. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. How do you do? Alden, hey, buddy. <clears throat> Can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. Uh, oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly, but good to see you. Hey. Excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. <laughs> you want to come back here without giving you a weapon? Oh, God. Jesus. Butthole. Get on the train, Bo. Go to your wolf. Four fists and maybe one brain between you. You're gonna get hurt, cowboy. Get him, Scott. Oh, gone it. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you, idiots. If that is his real name, it doesn't matter. He can fight. Oh, oh my God! Uh, Doggone it, Alden, don't worry about it. Hi there. Goodbye, Rhodes. Hello, future. All right, all done. That is quite a family you got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave, so what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bully them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah, well... How do life? Oh, my lord. Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with it with all these goddamn cousins? <laughs> I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. Jewels? I knew you had some damn jewels. <laughs> I mean, we all suspected for a long time, right? Yeah, they're coming to death. Pretty good at shooting telephone poles, apparently. Hey! How we doing? Oh hey, uh, Asky, try not to get killed if you if you don't mind. I'd appreciate it because I need like you alive for a multitude of reasons. And also like don't jump over a cliff, Asky. Asky. Asky's worrying me. 
All right. ASCII may not be able to catch up. I may have to go get ASCII. Are we stopping? Why'd we stop? Look! Is that the driver? He's abandoning us! Hold tight, all right? I'll take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out! Oh my god. All right, I guess. Of course they're gonna let you drive the train in this game. Asky, you're still. I could have told Asky to, like to not bot. Well, he's a good horse. He's probably going to get himself killed somehow. But he's a good horse. He just wants. To, he wants to be next to Daddy. Please don't run in front of the train, Asky. Just keep alongside of it, and everything will be fine. Hopefully, don't need any more accidents like with Sally. I guess if the driver abandons you, I'll just drive it myself. Oh, no. Stay away. Don't you run in front of my train. It's fun being a train, train operator. Husky's staying. Husky's figuring it out. Gotta give it to him. I just hope we don't go over like a big pitfall or something. So I'm taking, I'm taking you guys. I'm not taking you to Boston. We're heading west. That's also not the direction of Boston. But uh, sure, whatever. Just, I'm just hoping that the horse doesn't run in front of the train. So far, so good. The horse seems pretty intelligent. But I also don't put it past the game to have the horse get stuck under the train and just die. It's been demonstrated before that this can happen, so... Is this our stop? Are we almost there? This has actually turned into a very interesting mission because it's interesting to see what ASCII is going to do. Oh my god. Hold on, hold on, hold on. ASCII died. And it's like, drive the train! And I'm like, okay, but the horse... It won't let me off the train. It won't let me off the train. Did I... I swear to God, if that horse is dead. Oh my god. Did that kill my horse? I don't have a choice. I can brake and I can reverse. It won't let me off the train during this mission. So my saddle just stays there. I know you can resuscitate horses. I have Horse Reviver. My question is, how much time do you have on Horse Reviver? I'm guessing not, like, forever. There is a chance ASCII could have died. There is a chance ASCII is dead. From the dumbest thing. Oh my lord. And it's like partially my fault because I had an opportunity to shout to ASCII and be like, flee or something, but I didn't take it because I was in the middle of shooting things. Oh, I'm going to be real upset if ASCII's dead. Why have we stopped? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old... Family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. <sighs> I don't even need it at this point. I couldn't take it. No. 
Let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! Oh. Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! My one and only thought right now is I have to run backwards down the tracks as fast as I can in the hopes that my horse is not dead. Dear God. Oh, I'm... Mm, mm, I have... I have thoughts and opinions. Arthur Saddle. How far of a how far of a walk is that? Is that it's telling me to go to that way. That's not the fastest way. I need to I need to head down these tracks where I came from. Well This is dumb. This is very dumb. I don't know what I'm gonna find when I get there. ASCII, you better be there. ASCII. ASCII's body is here. Is it possible to... I don't even know how to do this. I've never had to use Horse Reviver. And I... I... Where would Horse Reviver be? Health cure, open health cure, potent health ginseng. Uh, I don't even know how to fix the horse. Oh my god. That's the journal. That's not the satchel. Oh my god. How do I. Also, ASCII is still getting hit by trains. Horse weapons. Is there any way... Is there any way at all... I don't... I don't think so. I think it probably would have given me... Like, the ability. Oh, I, I didn't mean to take that. Let me look at my satchel. There's nothing here about horse kit. I just don't want the horse to die, and I, 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 I subconsciously know it's already too late. ASCII is dead. I know ASCII's dead. Oh my god. Yeah, there's, there's nothing I can do here. Wait, horse reviver. Revives horse from severe injury and moderately it restores its health. But I can't use that. It's, it's been too long. Well, that was not how that was supposed to go. Darn it. Darn it. <sighs> okay. All right. That's okay. Okay. I, uh... I have a plan.
Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, Steven, you don't have to bring the saddle when you go to a stable. It will automatically teleport your saddle. I know. I'm aware of that. But here's the thing. I was curious. What would it actually be like? Arthur Morgan is out there. His horse dies in the dumbest tragic event ever. He's left with his saddle with all his goods. How would he realistically get there? He would have to walk. So I did. And uh, it took a long time. It took a very long time. So here's the deal. ASCII is dead. ASCII's not coming back. I even double-checked online. I was like, is there something I'm not doing right? No. It's, you basically have to act very quickly. And I couldn't because I was driving a train that I couldn't get off. And uh, ASCII is gone. But... I have another horse. It's been a while. It has been a while, emoji. You ready to ride again? <sighs> Heaven help me. I miss that nag. Real good one. Man, it has been It has been a while. God, you were a small horse, weren't you? Yeah, you were. Dang. All right. ASCII's gone, but I'm back to emoji. I kind of always yeah. knew that this day would come. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to be it for today. I think, I've had, I think I've had just enough heartache. Thank you all so much for watching. Next episode, uh, as far as I can tell, there's nothing else for us to do. Uh, we're going to be saving this to after Chapter 6, as recommended by you guys. That means that we are going to be going to see Sadie. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm nervous about rescuing John, but I'm also very excited about it. So, next episode, me and... Uh, emoji. We'll go and uh, talk to Sadie. You look well. And hey, you're not dead. Makes a big difference in a horse. See you guys next time for more Steven Plays. Red Dead Redemption 2.